I call to order the September 11th, 2017 meeting of the Victoria City uh, Council. First order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, Everybody, uh, before we uh, start tonight's meeting, uh, I'd like to ask uh, everybody uh, to give a moment of silence for the victims of 9-11. In addition to that, I'd like us all to remember the, the active duty and law enforcement people out there trying to do their best to prevent another 9-11. Another Please bow your heads. Let's give them a moment of silence. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Lori, any uh, changes to the agenda? No changes, Mayor. Council, any changes to the agenda? I would like to propose one change. Uh, I move we approve the agenda with the exception being item 10. Um, I would like to move item 10 to become a new 2.5, and I respectfully request the mayor go first. That is a motion. Second. Um, discussion? Motion on the table? Repeat the motion, please. Moving the reports of the mayor and council members to be the next item and respectfully request the mayor go first. Uh, as far as the discussion, this, is, uh, this has been the setup of the uh, agenda of the council for years and years and years. Uh, I, uh, for the record, I'm opposed to this. Uh, it's trying to uh, uh, change how things have typically been done, and I think it's just one more attempt to try to uh, 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 prevent me from being the mayor, even though the residents of the city elected me as the mayor. So I'm opposed to this. Uh, other comments? I agree. I mean, this is the way we've done it for all along. These little things that, this, that keep cropping up, uh, trying to get under each other's skin, this is just not... This is counterproductive to everything we need to do here. This, this serves no real purpose other than to, to use three votes to bludgeon two votes. That's just not acceptable. Well, I made the motion, and I will disagree with both of you. Um, I have a very real reason to do so, and I think it's important that citizens be allowed um, to comment on what have, has been um, some very caustic remarks. and. I would like the citizens to be able to comment if they choose to do so. My motion stands. Uh, my second was due to, um, I guess, similar thoughts, but also um, in the past it has always been the practice that the individual members' uh, reports were the subject of some discussion and, you know, the idea was that the reports were potentially um, future agenda items. And so, uh, you know, a little conversation around the, the thought behind them and, and any background and how we might um, respond to them as a, as a city council um, has always been the way it was done. The more recent way of doing it is to deny uh, anyone else the floor, <laughs> knock off discussion and adjourn the meeting, and um, so the last guy gets the last word. And I, and I think that's counter to what was intended with this part of the agenda, so um, if this is a way uh, it's, it's one way to overcome that, but uh, certainly there are others. Council Member Vote, any comments? Um, well, we all we all uh, understand what's happening here. Uh, this is a result of a 22-minute speech given at the end of, a, of the last meeting by the mayor, which uh, came at the in the at the very end of the meeting, and so we're trying to avoid that. Um, I would agree with this is, w for tonight as a temporary measure, but I think uh, the whole 
subject needs to be revisited. Well, let me add in. Tonight, I was going to change my mayor's reports um, because uh, I don't think they were as effective as uh, I wish them to be. Um, <clears throat> but changing the tradi tradition um, uh, just because of the fact that uh, they didn't like what I was doing, I just don't think is the right answer. So I would offer up to the council, the, uh, uh, my mayor's report tonight was only going to be about five minutes. Uh, it was going to be on topics uh, uh, particular to what the citizens want to hear. Uh, and I would uh, suggest uh, hold off on this motion. Let me do my mayor's report tonight. And then if you still feel the same way, we can have this for discussion in the next council meeting. My motion stands. Okay, any further discussion? Uh, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, all opposed, signify by saying nay. No. Nay. Uh, motion passes three to two. Reports is now item 2.5 for tonight's meeting. Uh, <clears throat> uh, to say I'm disappointed in the council, I think, is, is uh, an understatement. Uh, what I am going to do is... Uh, Point of order, Mayor. Do we have to ahead. adopt the agenda first? Oh, I'm sorry. You are correct. Um, I made that motion to adopt the agenda with that change. We just oh, passed. I'm sorry. I missed that. Uh, yep, that's correct. So... Uh, based on this, uh, even though I disagree with it, uh, I do want to. I wanted to talk about things that were going to happen in the tonight's meeting. Obviously, I can't do that, but I do want to uh, let the residents know, uh, with the amount of, of disinformation that has been put out there, uh, I wanted to let residents know that I've restarted my website, VictoriaResidentsFirst.com. That's F-I-R-S-T, not the number one. Um, and at that site, you're going to be able to find all of the uh, mayor's reports that instead of uh, taking time at the council meetings where I'd write, uh, 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 as, as was mentioned earlier, what are some extensive reports, I'm posting them on this web website along with a lot of other documented information. And so uh, quite simply, uh, there's a lot of things going on in the city, and I want residents to be able to have the opportunity to look at these documents themselves. Uh, uh, read the documents and then decide for themselves on any particular issue that happens to be facing the city. So I would encourage everybody uh, uh, to stop by the website. The I'll post mayor reports out there instead of taking time in the council meetings. That's the change I was going to announce uh, uh, tonight in tonight's meeting. Uh, but given the change, I'm telling you that to you now. Uh, and at this point, that's all. Uh, that's all I have to report. Other reports? No report. No report. Caught me off guard, so no report. He's got me. I'm <laughs> off guard too, but I'm, I'm going to make a report. <clears throat> Just a statement, and it came to me uh, as I was eating lunch today, because uh, living through this is not <clears throat> any fun. The reason for the dysfunction, the contentiousness, all of the ill feelings and um, inefficiencies in what's happening here are due to uh, one issue. And we've heard so many issues, everybody is totally confused, totally, uh, because it's all very complicated. But the issue is deciding whether to pay $23,000 in legal fees. Believe it or not, everything that's happened in the past three or four months, all the weird things and bad things, uh, letters flying back and forth, uh, quotes from various authorities are due to the simple fact that there is that issue whether the city pays $23,000 in legal fees for the defendants in the appeal. And it's just related to the appeal. This is not 23000 in legal fees related to the original open meeting law legislation or uh, trial, and so on. This is just due to defending to the council members against for this, to prepare for this appeal. So, I mean, it's basically crazy. This whole thing could have been avoided, and it's, it certainly didn't have to be this way, uh, but it is simple if you keep that perspective couple pieces of paper 
with some numbers on it called legal bills, started this whole thing. And it's been ricocheting for three or four months. End of statement. Lori? Any report? We didn't move her oh, report. The, uh, I'm sorry, city attorney? We didn't move their reports, Mr. Mayor. You just moved mine? We moved council. Item number 10 was the one that was moved. Right, item number 10 includes the city attorney. I'm sorry, I'm, I, I stand corrected. Uh, city attorney, any report? Uh, Mayor and, and council, I'm caught off guard a little bit too. I, I guess uh, I would look council for direction. The, the item uh, on the agenda, legal council discussion, might be the better place for me to report. But what I wanted to do, uh, to the extent uh, that turns into a discussion about the painter declaration and the Kildow affidavit, it seems to me that that Kildow affidavit sort of accuses me of having misrepresented things to you, my client, and I want to set the record straight on that. So. I'm happy to do that. I think it probably makes more sense to do that as part of the legal council discussion. Agreed. Uh, but if that doesn't make sense to the council, I'll do it now. Council so preference? Is there I'm pre fine with that. Council member vote? I'm fine. All right. I'm fine with that as well. That's fine. We'll do it then. All right. The next item then is the open form. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Goulart. Good evening, Council. Uh, I wanted to address a couple of recent public statements regarding the ongoing dispute over the city payments of attorney's fees and the open meeting law litigation. Uh, first, Professor Richard Painter from the University of Minnesota has requested that I read a statement to the Council tonight to put it on the public record. Uh, Professor Painter states, and I quote, my expert opinion set forth my opinions and any attempt to paraphrase statements in the declaration or derive inferences from the declaration is inappropriate and does not reflect my opinions or thoughts. I have been made aware of recent statements made by Ms. Judy Black publicly, both at the City Council meetings as well as in social media, that misconstrue or otherwise misstate my opinions as expressed in my expert declaration of June 12, 2017. I have not spoken to Ms. Black, and Ms. Black does not have permission to speak for me or represent me as to my opinions. Any statement that the plaintiffs in the open meeting law litigation should not have appealed the court's decision is false and does not reflect my opinion. That is the end of 